Alright hey guys, sorry it's been a while since uh, I've made a video. I've been out of the country for a while and uh, I wanted to actually use this stuff uh, for the whole trip before I did a video since uh, most of the time it's not as much of a review as it is an overview. Uh, but I have been using this for the past three weeks uh, so I think now is a good time to go over it. This is the MDOM USA uh, Flex Belt. It is sold kind of as a, uh, uh, a trouser belt for under a battle belt, uh, but it works just fine as a daily use belt as well. Um, it's got kind of an interesting construction, so uh, it doesn't double back on itself. The uh, running end goes through this metal D-ring, uh, even though it's super flat, uh, or metal loop if you want to. Goes through there, and then it just velcros onto itself. Uh, there's no routing it back for tension. Um, it's got a, a Hypalon base here uh, that runs the length of the belt. The inside has these webbing pockets here. Uh, I had a ruler, but I misplaced it, so these first two pockets are just under five inches each, and then this back pocket is just under three inches and that's mirrored on the other side of the belt as well. In the back, you'll see where the Hypalon meets from each side, and then there is an elastic portion here. Uh, that elastic portion is mostly there so that when this is on that back belt loop, it has some give to it um, as you're working so that you're not uh, wearing out the back loop on your pants. All right. The entire outside of this thing, save uh, that elastic portion, is covered with loop. So this mates really well with the Ronin belt. Uh, it actually uh, mates up very well. I used this as my uh, pants belt and then the Ronin over top of that and got rid, uh, rid of the inner belt from the Ronin as far as uh, using it for a, a pants belt. Uh, there's a, a generous amount of hook velcro here to mate with the outside when you close this uh, but there's also a loop on the outside of that so you're not actually losing any loop surface there. Uh, I will say the sizing on these is pretty generous if you're concerned at all. Uh, I would feel comfortable recommending that you go down a size. Uh, I was right on the cusp and uh, I had plenty of overlap. Uh, this thing even two inches of this thing uh, overlapping and it won't it won't uh, come undone on you. But I will say one thing that I noticed while using this is if you go down a size you are going to be left with some hook on the inside of the belt. So I would highly recommend that if your pants uh, are starting to show wear from that that you get a portion of loop to cover that up. Uh, it does add a little bit of bulk, but it'll it'll protect your pants in the long run. Uh, this is like a $30 belt, so uh, destroying a good pair of pants uh, is probably not ideal. Um, just go ahead and get enough uh, loop there to, to cut down on that wear. Uh, I will say uh, I've been wearing this in a super hot, super humid place, and I've had money in here the whole time. And it is uh, only only a little bit damp. Uh, to show you a better example of that, I had a copy of my passport ID and driver's license in here, and this is still crisp paper. It uh, shows no signs of wear or uh, tearing from being uh, wet. So uh, all around the pockets serve their purpose very well for uh, money and documents and then uh, if you wanted some hard like E&E &E type items I'd recommend these back pockets. Um, I'm not going to go into any detail on what that might entail uh, but they fit in there just fine and I wouldn't have any issues recommending this belt for that purpose either. So MDOM USA uh, flex inner belt. It comes in solid colors and patterns. The patterns you pay a little bit of a premium for. Uh, 
and I don't really see the need uh, for a patterned inner belt. One, you're going to cover it up with a battle belt, or two, you're going to wear it in uniform or with uh, civilian clothes, and a multi-cam belt probably isn't the intent of this thing in the first place. Uh, last thing to cover here, it is two inches wide, so it fits in combat pants, no problem. I wore it with cry fields, cry combats, and uh, dry fire combat pants, and it fit in those belt loops without any issue. Uh, due to how thin it is, it will fit in some civilian pants. I wore it with uh, some Wrangler Outdoor uh, series pants, and it fits but it is uh, pushing those belt loops to the max. So civilian pants, you're gonna have to play this one by ear. Uh, it would be really neat if MDOM made a one and a half or one and three quarter inch version of this. I don't know if the webbing will allow that because this is just one inch webbing uh, and, and super simple construction. But if they found some three quarter inch webbing, they might be able to pull it off. Uh, and then you'd start running into the issues of whether or not those pockets will still work. But perhaps that'll come uh, later on. Uh, it also wouldn't interface with uh, battle belts as well because they'd have the hook inside and uh, you'd have some overlap so you'd start wearing your pants down that way too. Uh, but all told, for $30, uh, I think this thing is a great value. I highly recommend it. The, uh, the Velcro getting used every day uh, very, very little wear. Um, obviously you can see it's pulled some stitches or threads from my pants or socks that this thing has run into in my bag. But uh, all told, it's doing really well. Uh, super happy with that purchase and I highly recommend it. Thanks guys.